everybody. Hey. What, what a pleasure to be here amongst you all. Um, <laughs> Baron and I are very much the same in our performative uh, instincts, so we're more of the same. <laughs> I, um, okay, here, here's the thing. It would be ridiculous of me to argue that, or I'm not here to argue that you shouldn't use electricity, you should never plug in, you should never use the internet. Uh, that, that would be preposterous. That's just not making the best use of the time you live in. Uh, that would be Amish, and nobody wants that <laughs> at all. The Amish, someone recently told me that the Amish, for fun, all they do is they play mini golf, which seems like if there's a windmill, it shouldn't be allowed. And <laughs> the Amish do a pickup basketball, uh, which they divide the teams into shirts and thicker shirts. That's <laughs> how they do that. But we're, I'm not here to be Amish. And this, so let's, let's get into it. Um, this unplugged a presentation by Josh Gondelman. That's good branding. Um, <laughs> so I'm also not here to talk about the woods. Uh, I'm not here to say we should unplug and go into the woods because that's not what anyone wants, right? That's that's not why we're in New York City to live our lives. That'd be a, a failed argument to the wrong, uh, falling on deaf ears. Uh, the woods are terrible. It's where bears and goldilockses live. Uh, nobody even hides porn in cardboard boxes anymore there. Uh, except that's from my generation. Uh, Judy told you how to find it the new way. And it's no good. Uh, Thoreau said he went to the woods to live deliberately. And then everyone in his life deliberately avoided him because he smelled like a dead guy's foot. So, again, no, I'm talking about the, uh, the woods. What we're here to talk about, and I have notes on my phone because that's uh, the environmentally conscious thing to do, and if it's not, I guess. So I guess being wired is environmentally unconscious. That's I have uh, words in there. How's that coming out? They were right. <laughs> <laughs> they were right though. The words that were in there were right. <laughs> All I'm saying is, I, I'm, again, I'm not saying. Josh, that's not good that, that you put your notes on your phone. I know, but yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, notes are right. Awesome. Well, that's the words I was trying to find. Thank you for picking them up. <laughs> There's a lot of turncoats tonight, and I feel like these teams are going to be totally jumbled by the end of the evening. And this Uptown Showdown will end, as every Uptown Showdown, do showdown does, with Mayron fucking someone's dad. So, like, I'm not going to say which dad, but someone's dad. That's just a tradition. If you've never been before, that's just how they all end. Uh, so, last week, my phone broke. And it just didn't work for a week. And here's what happens when you can't, when you don't have a phone. Nobody could call me, nobody could text me. I could only email them as like my computer, and I wasn't on social media. And I will tell you, that changed my perspective on things. Because I expected like, oh, maybe um, with a week off the grid, I'd feel a little more relaxed, a little less stressed. And, and, uh, and that didn't happen, I'll be honest. What happened was, uh, I was out without my phone for a week, and I felt like I was dunking a basketball in space while on heroin and coming the whole time. So it was incredible. It was incredible. I also used, um, that's the flaming lips. They're not on heroin anymore. They stopped, but they were better when they were on heroin. Um, <laughs> let's keep going. The, uh, the best things about the internet, right? Because there are good things. That's what I'm here. I'm not here to deny that. The best things are, it makes the world a small community. Everybody has a voice. And you're never alone. You hear different perspectives. You learn things you wouldn't have otherwise learned. The worst things about the internet are uh, it makes the world a small community, and everyone has a voice. And you're never alone. There's always someone right there with you, uh, which is great. If at all hours you want to hear what Maga Pepe 1943 thinks about how Hillary should quote get Benghazi herself so she knows what it feels like. So that's a real fun thing to have. That's uh, the great part of the internet. Um, let's see what else we got. Oh, this is. Um, this is the real bad thing about being plugged in all the time. I think we all have to admit is uh, the news. That's why well, that's what we want to unplug from, right? It's very stressful. Uh, that there's just always the news, and it's it's news alerts constantly. I get New York Times news alerts all day, and it's never the news alerts I want. It's never news alerts that are like, uh, uh, oh, sorry, the places you used to get the news are a paper delivered to you by a neighborhood child, or not, if they weren't feeling it that day. <laughs> a very stern man on television at 6 p.m., that's where you could get the news. Or you could just call your vegan friend, they always had a lot of ideas about what's wrong. So, those were the ways, that's what you had to do to get the news. And now, here's how the news happens. It fucking chases you down like a guy with a hook for a hand, who you and your friends murdered with a car last summer. <laughs> And then, 
once you see that there's news, right, you aren't just like, oh, New York Times alert? Oh, uh, uh, Trump ate his own thumb to show dominance over Kim Jong-un? You aren't just like, good to know. You go online and you just shotgun the rest of the news into your face, like a PBR made of information you don't actually want. <laughs> so here's, here's, uh, here's the news, here's, so you never get the news alerts you want. That's what I, what I mean. It's always bad news, it's always stressful. Being plugged in always gives you news you don't want. For example, uh, you never get news like, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, still got it. Uh, or, new pizza flavor, super pepperoni. <laughs> Uh, you never get a news alert that's just, you're doing fine, dude, everything's cool, you're doing great. And you never get, uh, oh, excuse me, too plugged in. You never get a news alert that's just like, Shawshank's on TNT, it's the scene on the roof right now, uh, which is a news alert that These I These are the only news alerts I'm subscribed to, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what, what, who guess. sent you that? Well, I just made it myself. You can find a lot of things on the internet. <laughs> the Russians. Here are the news alerts that you always get. It's always President Trump dressed in White Mount Rushmore. <laughs> North Korea inches somehow slightly closer. <laughs> Scott Pruitt names oil spill deputy EPA director. <laughs> or the one I'm looking forward to soon. Look out, Jews. That's how it's coming. And I'll tell you what. This you might... guy knows his audience. <laughs> I'm you might say, I'm you might say, if there's a Lookout Jews news alert, would you want it? And uh, the answer is, my parents will obviously call me from their landline if Lookout Jews news alert. So thank you guys very much. That's, uh, I'm flying. I'm flying, everybody.